Hey everybody, welcome back to Cheap Brew. I'm Anthony, and today we're going to get started on a wild blackberry wine. Now, I live in Washington State, which has a bunch of wild blackberries all over the place. So we're going to start by picking about four or five pounds of this, and then we're going to bring it all back to the kitchen and get it all sorted out. As a friendly reminder, while you're picking blackberries, notice that they are very sharp. So be careful not to nick your finger. Before we get started with the brew, big shout out to Mason. Kayla, my wife, and Aria, my daughter, for helping pick and occasionally eat some of these blackberries while we're working on it. Blackberry picking is done. Thanks, everybody. We are now going to weigh our blackberries and see how much we have to work with. Three pounds, 13 ounces. For my first step, I'm gonna let this soak in cold water for about an hour. And that's all just my first step of cleaning the berries and I'm gonna throw them in the freezer for storage after they're all rinsed and, and stuffed. Well, it sure has been a while since I put the blackberries in the freezer. Uh, it is now December 28th. It's almost January. So yeah, a little out of season, but hey, in six months, it's gonna be June again, and that's about the earliest we're gonna be able to sample the wine. So that I'm looking forward to. Anyways, I have started putting the wine must together. What I did was I took the blackberries out and let them thaw a little bit overnight in the fridge, and then this evening I put them into a bowl. I boiled a little bit of water, not any specific amount, just enough to help thaw out the blackberries a little bit. I added just enough water to the bowl so I could smash them up and start turning them into nice, squished, juicy blackberries. One other thing I did was I sprinkled 4.7 ounces of just table sugar over the blackberries. Some people say that helps kind of draw the juices out. I didn't leave it sitting long enough probably for it to do anything, but it's all mashed up in the bowl. And the next step is going to be adding our sugar and I think we'll start with, uh, let's start with two pounds and then we'll take a gravity reading from our fermenter. So we did the gravity reading and I have advice for future Blackberry projects, maybe instead of trying to take the gravity in the blackberry soup, it might be better to take a gravity reading of a water and sugar mixture because it is too thick. Anytime you put the hydrometer down, when it comes back up, it just gets stuck. So I have no idea what the actual gravity is. I know for a fact that it is insanely high. I'm gonna go with 1.125 because that's the average position where it got stuck. So barring a catastrophic blowout, this should be fine. In the meantime, I'll have it fermenting on a dark colored towel. One other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a Camden tablet and then I'm gonna pitch the yeast tomorrow. I forgot to hit record while I was doing this, but here's the Camden tablet. Basically all you do is you take one little tablet and you squish it between two spoons over here and then magic happens. One thing I forgot to mention was that I'm going to use pectic enzyme so we get a nice clear product in the end. Now we're going to mix it up and let it sit for 24 hours. So it's been 24 hours now. The Camden tablets have done their job. We're getting ready to pitch the yeast. A couple of things of business before we get into the actually doing that. I took an actual gravity reading. It's actually a 1.14 or 20% alcohol by volume potentially. The yeast will probably only ferment 16% of that, so we're gonna have a very sweet wine at the end, which I'm totally fine with. I do not enjoy dry wines really, so a little bit of sweetness, that's gonna be good. Second order of business, I took some of the sample that I was using to test the gravity and made a yeast starter with it. That in a little hot water, added the yeast, they are fizzling away, they've been doing it for about 20 minutes, they're ready to go into the fermenter. Third and final before we get to putting the yeast in there is I added a teaspoon of acid blend. I was looking for this yesterday, I couldn't find it, but now it is in there ready to be stirred up. So without any more delay, let's put the yeast into the fermenter and get it going. So 
now our blackberries are fermenting in the fermentation jug. For the first seven days, I'm gonna have to come in once a day and stir it, which will give me a great opportunity to capture the ferocity of the uh, fermentation. So here is the fermentation montage. Well, it's day nine of fermentation now. On the first day, we had a little bit of problem with the blackberries capturing a lot of carbon dioxide. They expanded up into the airlock just a bit, but I caught it. I moved half of them into another fermenter and left the other half in the original. I let them sit there for about seven days. I stirred each jug individually once a day and now I have recombined them back into their own jug and safe to say it's fermenting along quite nicely. I'm gonna let it continue to ferment for another three to five days and then I think we'll do our first racking. Squish out all the blackberries, get some of the extra juice and let it go into a nice secondary where it can clear. Maybe rack it one more time after that and then we'll be able to put it into bottles. On another note, it is starting to smell really, really, really nice, like a nice wine. I've never had blackberry wine before, but if this is what it smells like, it's got to be really, really good. So it's day 13 of fermentation now. We're ready to do a racking into another demijohn so we can let it go into secondary fermentation, which means tonight I'm taking all the blackberries out. Earlier today, I took a gravity reading and came up with a 1.035 gravity, which means 13.75% of the blackberry wine is alcohol. So how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna clean up the blackberry mess? What I've done is sanitized a grain bag. I'm gonna use that to catch all the blackberry junk and then we're gonna move that to a bowl and let it drain for a little bit. And then we're gonna squish the blackberries to get some of the juice out. And we're gonna pour whatever's left of that back into the fermenter and then we're gonna let it sit. The blackberries are gonna be thrown in the garbage but the blackberry wine will live on. Well, that went off without a hitch. It was not nearly as time consuming as I expected. Everything that was chunky in, in the must came out and now we just have blackberry wine. Uh, something has occurred to me. The reason why we might be getting a little bit of bubbling from the airlock might be because it could just slightly be carbonated. That layer of blackberries might have trapped enough of the carbon dioxide that it might be slightly carbonated. We'll see how it goes over the next few days. The reason why I think it might be slightly carbonated is because the airlock is still bubbling and I just moved this over. So it's either still fermenting or it's carbonated a little bit and the CO2 is coming out of the mixture. Anyways, the blackberries, when I squished them out, I took a look in the bag and poured them out in the bowl. They are just like completely dry. It's like blackberry poop. I wouldn't recommend putting it on ice cream, but you could. I can't let it go untested. I just have to know. What do you think? Is this gonna be good? It's very, very hard. I'm scared to do this. That's not good at all. Yeah, it's like I took a fresh spoonful of bear shit in the summer and stuck it in my mouth expecting it to taste like fucking New York pizza. Yeah, don't do it. Our next step is to let this sit for three to four weeks, see how much it clears, and uh, reevaluate at that point. I'm really not sure where the journey is going to take us next, but apparently, if you're making a wine, it has to sit and clear for just about forever. So now we wait. It is now day 45 of fermentation on our Blackberry Wine Project, and I'm pretty sure that all the fermentation has stopped, and we're ready to rack 
the blackberry wine into a different demijohn so it can settle and age for an even longer period of time. Once we're done with that, we're gonna take a gravity reading. I'm thinking in the realm of 1.01 or lower. So let's get started by racking into our new sanitized fermentation vessel. So our gravity at the time of the second rack is 1.020. That is 15.75%. That gives us just enough headroom on the gravity scale that we should have a little bit of sweetness in here and we'll find out in a minute because I'm about to try some of the probably world's worst unaged blackberry wine, but um, I gotta do it. It's recommended to let it sit for six months in the fermenter to bulk age, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that um, because I don't want it taking up extra space in my kitchen. I'm gonna wait about 30 days to see if any extra yeast drops out of it. If that goes well, I'm just gonna put it into a bottle. We'll catch up in 30 days, but before we go tonight, taste test. As you can see here, I've got the beautiful Crown Royal glass this evening filled with just the tiniest amount of wine and it smells like wine. Surprise. It smells like a red, a red wine. I'm not like a wine person but um, it, it definitely smells like it's a red wine. It's got that thick kind of smell to it. I'm really curious to see how this tastes so let's go ahead and get into that. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's um, sweet for sure and it burns a little bit and I think that'll go away a little bit with age because it kind of it does the same thing with meat. It's, it's hot um, you could say. Boy though this it is so sweet. It tastes like like you're eating a blackberry or drinking a blackberry but it's alcoholic. I would say it's it's kind of actually like Mike's. Fuck man that's good enough to drink. I'm still gonna let it sit for 30 days though. The fermenter's all secured, we got the lid on it and the airlock. I'm gonna put it in a dark place and I will check back in 30 days with the rest of the bottling. Well, welcome to day 106 of blackberry wine fermentation. Today I've decided is bottling day. I actually went ahead and waited an extra month, so it's been two months since I did the second racking. And I'm about to do another gravity check. First, just to catch up on all the stuff that I've pre-prepared, I've sanitized four of the 750 milliliter wine bottles. I've got four corks chilling in a little bit of star sand mixture. Uh, and then I've also gone ahead and sanitized another demijohn to rack into so we don't have to bottle with all that nasty yeast stuff that has settled out. And I am very ready to put these things into the bottle and clear up a little bit of space. With that said, let's go ahead and do a quick gravity check to see if we fermented out any extra sugars. So evidently not a lot has changed in the realm of the gravity. I'm going to say final gravity is going to be 1.020, so 15.75%. I'm still not disappointed. So now the first milestone in my Blackberry Wine project that I have been waiting for since August of 2022, I'm finally going to be able to put the Blackberry Wine into some bottles. I think I'm going to get four 750 milliliter bottles, so I'm going to clean up the auto siphon and get things rolling. We did it. We got four, but we almost didn't get four. We almost got three and three quarters. So I cheated. I used the funnel to get every last bit out of the bottling jug, and uh, then I had to kind of do a little bit of pouring magic, um, but ended up with some fairly even 
levels in the bottle. And I even used our fancy boiling water trick to get these wonderful uh, shrink wraps on the top so we look like a somewhat professional thing, minus the label, but I think the label's pretty cool anyways. I'm super stoked about the uh, blackberry wine um, and that it actually turned out ages ago. I tried a project um, like this, not knowing anything about actually home brewing. I still don't, but uh, this one has turned out and time will prove, hopefully, that this, this is good. Mason, um, one of these is for you. So uh, as soon as you're uh, able to come and get it, uh, this or one of the four is yours. Take care, everybody.